Welcome, everybody. I'm Jeff Lenowski, Senior Product Specialist and Happy Homeowner here at Leisureland Estates. You having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think of my place? Just wait till you see what's inside. Jeff, you've got to stop inviting guests over without telling me. I finally just got in the tub to relax after such a busy day. First, I took a tennis lesson and had a massage. Nice. And then after a gourmet lunch with the girls, well, we couldn't help ourselves, so we popped into that new Loger jewelry store downtown. Uh-oh, Loger? What's that gonna cost me? I was really good. Just another diamond bracelet. Just a diamond bracelet? That doesn't sound like you. You're right. I don't like to break up a set, so I got matching diamond earrings and a matching diamond necklace. How much, Laura? Oh, but Jeff, they look so good on me. I, I said how much? $83. $83? Why, that's practically our food budget for two whole months. If you liquidate your current home, cars, and other assets and purchase the Regency level estate, remember that's a 12,000 square foot equivalent home on the 1.5 acre equivalent lot. Right. Right? Right. So, Taking a look at your current debt, your retirement, and your other savings, you are at $152,000 in equity. People, that is a very comfortable number. Comfortable? That doesn't sound like nearly enough. Yeah. Well, no. See, you have to look at this column, Audrey, equivalent value. In leisure land, your $152,000 translates to $12.5 million to live on for life. I mean, come on. <laughs> So, what do you think? Would the Regency level be your first choice, or should I show you something a little more deluxe? Honey, why don't you just go ahead and pick? I just want you to be happy. <sighs> That's a good husband. Take a look at this. So, the decision to... Well, that's the thing. Downsizing takes the pressure right off, especially money pressure. Well, and plus, it must feel good to know you're really making a difference. You mean all that crap about saving the planet? <laughs> yeah. Downsizing is about saving yourself. But now, Carol and I, are we are like kings. I'm still living in the same house I grew up in. I mean, Audrey's dying for us to move, but we're really strapped. Listen, there's a lot of small communities cropping up out there, but don't mess around. Leisure your lands where you want to be. Best houses, best appliances, best doctors. Got all the great restaurants. The kids love Cheesecake Factory. And Leisure your lands got three of them. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, maybe you um, back up a little? I think there might be too much garlic in the salsa here. Oh, yeah, right. Please state your full legal names. Audrey Lustig Safronic. Paul Norris Safronic. And do you understand that of your own free will, you will undergo the permanent and irreversible medical procedure commonly known as downsizing, and that following the procedure, your bodies will be approximately 0.0364% of their current mass and volume? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Paul, I need a yes or no? Yes. Yes. And do you understand that there exists an approximately 1 in 225,000 chance that the procedure could result in injury, permanent disability, or death? Yes. 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 I see you've decided to join us. Is this? Welcome to Leisure Land. Can you tell me your name? It's Paul Safronic. Okay, good. I bet you're hungry. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't that cute? People just love that. I'll bring you a real snack in a moment. Okay, thank you. I guess you like butterflies. Butterflies? Yes, I like very much. When I little girl, my father, he take me, my sister, go see butterfly. Near my village, they live in the tree. You know, they fly cold place to hot place every year. Stay tree, then go away, come back. Like a migrating butterflies. Yes. That yeah, sounds beautiful. How do you say butterfly in Vietnamese? 
Còn bóm Còn bóm Còn bóm I need a yes or no? Yes. Yes. With downsizing, we live like kings. Oh my God. The cause of all the catastrophes we are seeing today is overpopulation. We are proud to unveil the only practical remedy to humanity's gravest problem. Are you ready, doctor? Yes, I'm ready. That is wild, isn't it? It's just wild. That's Dave, Dave Johnson. Hey, everybody. And Carol. He never struck me as the kind of guy who'd go get small. Downsizing takes the pressure right off. Plus, you're really making a difference. You mean all that crap about saving the planet? Yeah. Downsizing is about saving yourself. We live like kings. Got best houses, best restaurants, Cheesecake Factory. Got three of them. In Leisure Land, your $52,000 translates to $12.5 million to live on for life. <laughs> wow. Do you understand that you will undergo the permanent and irreversible medical procedure commonly known as downsizing, and that your bodies will be approximately 0.0364% of their current mass and volume? Nervous? Uh, little. I'll see you on the other side. I love you. Hey, how's everybody doing today? You may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. You may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful world is filled with things to see. Sometimes you think we're in the normal world, and then something happens. Oh my god. And you realize we're not. large is available in cayenne, moss, and aubergine. We didn't have six and a half in the plum, so I brought you black. But I really want plum. Do you think moss is pretty? You know, I, I don't know, lady. Why don't you just pick a color, please? <laughs> Dave? That's Dave Johnson. He never struck me as the kind of guy who'd go get small. Wow. So the decision to downsizing takes the pressure right off, especially money pressure. We live like kings. We're dying to move. We're really strapped. You want my advice? Leisure land's where you want to be. In leisure land, your hundred thousand dollars translates to twelve million dollars. Wow. I just got another diamond bracelet. Pretty nifty, huh? Okay, let's go for it. Nervous? Little. I love you. I love you too. Today, you will undergo the permanent and irreversible procedure known as downsizing. All clear. He's just frantic. You've got to call. Paul, don't be mad at me. Please don't be mad. I can't leave my family. I can't leave my friends. And I'm sorry, Paul. I should have been thinking more about myself. Thinking about yourself? I'm five feet just tall! As large as you can, please. I know this can put a pretty big dent in anyone's self-esteem. But downsizing is about hitting the reset button. Start all over. I have allergies. Wait, wait. I'm going to take off my shoes. You may find yourself. Open your eyes. In another part of the world. The world is filled with things to see. And you may say to yourself, my god, what have I done? That woman is really sick. You help her. These are the people that we should be helping. Something very big is happening. 
something top secret. Why did I downsize so that I could be here right now? I finally have a chance to do something that matters. You think we're in the normal world, and then something happens. Oh my God. And you realize we're not. Same as it ever was. Hi Lisa here, I hope you liked the video. Did you like the actors? Well, for some actors, getting into character for the roles they play is extremely important to portray their character in a true light. Now, Leonardo DiCaprio, for his role as Hugh Glass in The Revenant, immersed himself in the role by pretending to sleep in a horse carcass, eating raw buffalo meat, and hauling himself in and out of freezing cold rivers throughout the nine month shoot. Another notable effort was Matt Damon for the role of Andrew Ilario in Courage on Fire. Now, Damon lost 40 pounds through a strict self-imposed diet and training regimen, he ended up being put under medical supervision for months after filming ended because it messed with his health so badly. Now, what other examples of actor role prep do you know of? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you haven't already done it, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive the latest trailers and other cool videos the moment they're online. And I'll see you next time.